Just lately, I've been experimenting with AI, and specifically its ability to separate mixed audio tracks into individual stems. What first spurred me on was when I heard about what Peter Jackson was doing with the Get Back documentary. It was then used to demix the group stems they had for the four-track sessions of Revolver, and this remix gave the album a much more balanced stereo feel. Charles even said he could hear the squeak of the bass drum pedal when the drums were separated. And of course, I have to mention the last single by the Beatles now and then, where it separates Lennon's piano and vocals. This sounded really exciting and something I'd really like to try it myself. So it got me thinking, would it be possible to take one of my old band demos from the 90s and spruce it up? I know a lot of musicians my age would have recorded to tape back in the day, and will only have stereo mixes and no stems available. So is it now possible to do something like Peter Jackson and Giles Martin did, but for us mere mortals? The service I decided to use was a website called lalal.ai, and this promised to separate vocals and instrumentals, but also drums, bass, guitars, keyboards, and various other elements. First up was getting the vocals out, so I could rebalance them, tune them, maybe take off a little bit of reverb. Next up, I'd like to take the drums out and rebalance those. In the original track, they're a little bit buried, so it'd be really good to bring those out just a little bit more. The bass also is lacking a bit of fullness, so I'd like to get that as well. And while I'm here, I might as well get the guitars. They sound a little bit harsh in the original mix, and it'd be also nice to bring out the solos. Separating the vocals and the instrumental seems to have worked quite well, but the bass seems a little bit comb-filtered and a bit strange. And the guitars drop out again a little bit, so I don't think I can use that track alone in the mix. So I think for this purpose, I'm going to use the instrumental as the basis of the track, along with the vocal. And for the drums, I'm going to take a little bit of reverb off, because they're quite wet in the original mix. I'll also create another track with just the low end, so I can bring some of that kick presence through. That gives it a little bit more punch. Definitely going to need some Melodyne for my vocals, a little bit iffy in places, although it's a shame there's no AI for fixing delivery. And also take the reverb down a little bit there, add a little bit of slap echo. I'll also need to ride the gain a little bit as well, because some of the vocals get a bit lost in places. Overall, it was a useful experiment just to see what it could do, and it could really bring something back to life. I think there's some really big compromises, though, still, in those isolated tracks. So it's definitely not magic, but at a push, it can do a job. And I'm encouraged to use it in other projects as well now, I think. Has anyone else used any AI machine learning technology for this purpose? Please let me know in the comments, as it'd be really interesting to know anyone else's experience and results.